I finally went and bought the history edition of The Settlers 2 of Uplay. I managed to get over my initial hesitation of giving Ubisoft some personal data by simply lying about the data itself. It didn't occur to me the first time. I could just lie to them. Because basically the only thing they legally need in that list is my zip code. Legally, in the EU, that's kind of the only thing required for the sale to proceed. Because they already had my name because I made the account with them and I can probably get other billing information from PayPal, but that's a whole other thing. So, the Settlers 2 history, it was even on sale. I only paid like two bucks for it. And I'm, I'm thinking that maybe it was too bucks too much especially since you play has that whole thing oh you installed it yeah no more refund for you but it's okay it's uh, i don't really want to refund it i want to keep it around in case you know maybe it gets an update but as it currently stands the settlers 2 history edition that ubisoft has released a couple of months ago the anniversary edition if you will of it the actually extra extra anniversary edition of it because there is a different anniversary edition for the 10th anniversary which was actually kind of an, an awesome game that was a 3d remake uh, steven from the channel steven nonsense has a video about it go check that one out hopefully it'll be in the comments in case i don't forget it but this was supposed to be the um modern organization of the classic not a not a remake in 3d but the classic now spiffed up with all the modern trimmings that people expect to see in games like the ability to run it on your entire screen in its full resolution and yeah the game does have that go into it it'll run in full screen at the full resolution of the monitor and that's all it's got there's nothing else extra in it it doesn't have any extra features none none whatsoever it actually has fewer features than the dos version which you can buy right now from gog.com which you should because well gog uh, turns out has been doing so great in the last couple of months and had fired some people which is kind of sad because gog is part of the whole fck drm initiative one that it started because you know drm is really not something you really kind of want to have everywhere because it's kind of stupid from the consumer point of view but well let's see to its credit the history edition of settlers 2 is fast it doesn't have to go to dos box it just runs directly looks okay it's just the same game but now stretched out to well not stretched out it's, it actually uses proper resolutions to fit your entire screen and has the campaign has single player maps has split screen you can set in an external configurator exactly uh, what device of control the other player should use mouse or keyboard keyboard doesn't only really work uh, probably use a second mouse there no problem but in game you don't have options and i mean you do not have options they remove the button for options so you cannot set the resolution you cannot set it to be full screen or windowed from within the game you can only do that from outside of the game and from outside of the game you can't set the resolution it'll just run on your monitor's maximum resolution which is i guess fine but maybe the ability to choose maybe a frame rate there you know able to pick things and do things and it doesn't have the cd music either now the cd music is not maybe my favorite version of the soundtrack of the game i still think some of the midi tracks are better but some of the cd ones sound nice well they're not in the game at all you're effectively getting less content at least in the music department than you would if you just got the dos version and if you're worried about not being able to run it on a modern system, well, uh, there's a mod out there that I showcased in the recent play now of Settlers 2 last year called Return to Roots. That mod is free. You do need to have Settlers 2, the DOS version, I think it may even work with a demo, but it gives you more options and is by far a better remaster of Settlers 2 than what Ubisoft did. Now, again, I would like to highlight this. Ubisoft, the company that sells Settlers 2 History Edition, 
did a worse job of remastering The Settlers 2 with the History Edition than some fans have done for free over the course of the last decade or so, I think, I'm not sure exactly how long this thing has been in the making, with Return to the Roots mod. Now that mod is still not complete. I haven't gotten the music to run on it at all so far, haven't really tried either, and it doesn't have the campaign yet. It's not supported, but it may be supported one day. However, it gives you everything else. Oh yeah, and uh, can't get it to run full screen for some reason, but other than that, it gives you unprecedented options. It gives you options at the same level that you would see in Open Transport Econ Deluxe. You can effectively change the rules of the game. If something annoyed you, you can change it. You can activate a mode that gives units experience depending on how many kills they get. So then you can snowball and murderize everybody. You have full resolution and frame rate controls. You have multiplayer and not just split screen multiplayer, but internet net multiplayer available. You have options upon options that do not exist in the paid version of the modernized edition of The Settlers 2. Return to Roots plus the DOS version just invalidates the History Edition completely. It makes it pointless, worthless honestly. There is no reason for it to exist, not with how little effort was put into it. Well, little effort that may be, you know, uh, relative because making Settlers 2 as it was run modern systems, that probably didn't take little effort to realize. But compared to what this mod does, there is no contest. Because if there had been a contest, Ubisoft would have already lost it, just like it did with the Heroes of Might and Magic 3 HD Edition, which was based off the source code of only the initial game, because they didn't have the source code for the uh, expansions, and that one was kind of badly put together to the point where they didn't limit Town Portal to, uh, you know, uh, no, wait, Dimension Gate. Didn't limit Dimension Gate to work only in the, like, initial 800 by 600, something like that, the maximum area around your character. So you could, on a 4K screen, teleport anywhere on the map instantly, which effectively broke the game. I I'm not sure if that's been fixed, it may have been fixed, but the fact that it wasn't thought about, like initially, that kind of shows that it, nobody cared. And when I say nobody, I mean nobody in the should we sell this game with this problem department. Because you know, there's got to be somebody that said, oh, hey, this is a problem, can I uh, can I fix it? Uh, it's going to take me like a couple of hours, maybe, uh, can I uh, fix it? No, I'm going to ship it now, okay, but it's a problem, so I, uh, no really, I can't fix it, okay, uh, fine, fine, yeah. Yeah. Probably somebody there realized. Somebody there knew. Somebody there wanted. And somebody else told them, no, nobody's gonna care. Just ship it. That's usually how it functions. And in the case of, well, Settlers 2 History Edition, I haven't found faults with it. I mean, okay, you don't, that doesn't have CD audio, but the game works fine. It's just like a slight notch above the DOS version. Whereas Return to the Roots, that's, that's a remaster. That's something I would have expected to pay for. And honestly, I think the better course of action would have just been to do this, to fund this and release it as the History Edition. I know people harp on Beamdog for, uh, they keep saying that they're using bits of mods to get their games to work, uh, the uh, remasters of the Infinity Engine games haven't looked into it, I'm, I don't know if that's what they're doing, but you gotta admit, at least they're, they're kind of at the level of the mods that they're meant to replace, they're meant to offer a paid version of, whereas the Settlers 2 History Edition is not. I don't know about the other ones. I, Silver's 1 History Edition may be a, a better option because I'm, I'm not sure if the modding community is that enthusiastic about the first game, which is in itself still a very beautiful game. It's uh, Matt Barton's favorite from the series, from the Matt Chat show that I suggested you go watch since there's no more content on our channel. And uh, I guess maybe for Settlers 3 and 4, since okay, 4, the DOS, well not the DOS, because there's no DOS, the GOG version of 4 just flat out is broken on GOG because there's a mission at some point and the game will just not progress beyond it. And I think maybe hopefully that got fixed in the history edition because if it wasn't, well, what would be the point of it? So hopefully, hopefully the history editions are more uh, relevant for those games because for this one, it's not. Settlers 2 History Edition is simply worthless. Goodbye.